Okay, so continuing to talk about this transfer of <clears throat> line to shape and then ultimately shape to form. I'm working on this larger scale coil pot now that will be informed from my maquette. And I made that template, right? That expanded template. Now I would like you guys to go 18 inches tall. So I know that sounds a little daunting, but here's the deal. If you break it off into six inch pieces and then really pay attention to your template for each six inches, you are gonna have something that is really gonna blow your mind, all right? Again, this idea that the silhouette of something becomes the general line of something, right? That line that marks the silhouette. Oh, I really like the lines of that car. Oh, I really like the lines of that building. We're generally talking about the silhouette. That translates into this template, right? This template's only 16 inches tall, okay? So you can see I'm trying to follow it and I'm not doing the greatest job, but look what this template can do. This template can allow me to come around and make these adjustments at every point, at every point around this piece. And so I'm right up around, around six inches tall. And so if I can get this to read right, then I can wrap the top edge, cover it in plastic, and then come back to it and kind of start rattling off those next six inches. This way, we're making work with like very clear intent, right? And that's where your hand building this term is going to be intermediate level, right? Because we're going to throw in the idea of intent. This is what I'm really trying to achieve here with this form. So really, I'm just going to add these remaining coils. I'm going to give one more check on that template. And then I'm going to let this thing set up a little bit because I will have reached my first kind of like six inches in height. All right. Okay, I've got that pretty close. I'm gonna come in here, smooth my coils down, and then I'll kind of wrap this up 
and be ready for the next since the six inches of, of work on this piece. So I know 18 inches again sounds like a lot, but look, break it into three sessions and it's really not that much. All right, we're trying to make a visual impact with these forms, okay? So trying to have them be what you intended and then also have them be a larger scale than what you attempted in beginning ceramics, okay? Now remember, as always the case, push this thing away from you. Get a look at it from a distance. Start looking at things. You can see that, that transition in the lower area there is really, really difficult to get right. Um, some of the bumpiness of just my form making is making it so that I'm not following that template. But you can still reach in here and kind of push out and move things around. I also don't like how the template's leaving marks, but that's okay, I can come back and address that. All right, so I would wrap this up appropriately. Um, generally, you know, that little damp paper towel that goes around the rim is a good idea, and then tight plastic, and then come back to it the next setting for the next six inches.